Morning all. Um, recording on the tab once again and using an external mic. But what I've done this time is I've removed this little jack which comes with it, uh, which is needed for the iPhone for some reason. I don't know why, but um, I tried it without on the tab and the sound was a lot better. So hopefully this will come, be coming through really nice and sharp. Um, okay, so this morning I figured I'll do a little bit of a return fire for Philistine. He's done a video this morning. And he said he felt inspired after seeing last night's Saturday Night Live on uh, this channel. Um, so I thought I'd return fire. Now, Philistine, he loves an Ennerdale. Uh, sorry, he loves a Lakeland um, tobacco. And I generally don't. Um, there are one or two which I have smoked from time to time. Um, one of those being Ennerdale. Now, um, this Ennerdale... Um, is a couple of years old and so I figured I'll crack some out and give it a go so I've let it dry out for a fair bit um, this one it is a Lakeland my biggest problem has been to decide which pipe to actually use so I don't want to ghost any of my regular pipes um, but the aroma that you get off it is um, it's actually quite nice. It's not what I call granny pants. It's a little bit sweeter than that. Um, I kind of liken it a, a little bit to um, Bakewell tarts. That is like a bit of an almondy, but also floral kind of aroma, but it's not a heavy floral aroma. Um, and when I smoked it, I certainly didn't get a heavy Lakeland essence. I got the sweetness. There is floral essence there, but not heavy. Um, that's my recollection of it anyway. So. Um, I'm going to smoke it in the uh, sink pipe. You've seen this one before. Um, it may have been a while back, but you have seen it. I don't smoke it that often, but it does smoke well. And hopefully a single bowl won't ruin it for me. The flake itself is a really quite a chunky flake. It comes through in long strands and it's quite sort of broken, but they're really quite thick. As you can see there, really quite a thick chunky flake. But the aroma, it, it is a Lakeland aroma, but it's really quite a bit smoother than some of the other ones, like uh, Broken Flake number seven. Um, and it's 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 a sweeter Lakeland as opposed to a really floral um, kind of affair. It's very well pressed. Uh, it's got a bit of a chocolate brownie kind of look to it. Um, so it's, it's, and it's been sitting there for a couple of years. So hopefully it will be a little bit smoother than I remember it. It's been a while since I've smoked it. Definitely getting Lakeland. <laughs> well, I'm going to smoke it for a couple of minutes and come back. Well, we're smoking it for a bit. Paul Turnock Tampa. Um, it's really not that bad. 
Um, as I say, to me, it's not one of the really heavy Lakeland um, blends. And it does, to me, have a little bit of uh, a Bakewell tart kind of flavor to it. It definitely has got some floral fragrances in there, but not as strong as it might be. It's quite a smooth, quite cool smoking. Um, I'm trying to detect if I get the, the Virginias, which... The retro hell gives me a little bit of spice, a little bit of pepper. But overall, the main flavor that I do detect is that um, mixture of Lakeland, bake, Bakewell, marzipan, sweetness. Um, that's the flavor that I'm getting through. Not really getting much of a grassy kind of hit at all. And, and that the the floral aspect of the of the Lakeland is really just the top note. It's really just right at the top of that sweet sort of flavour. Um, but it's definitely there. You get it on the retro hill as well. On the tongue, there's like a sugary sweetness, a sugared water sweetness. I'm drinking some tetle, tetley tea in my mug from Art, Pipes and Spirits. Daddy. Right, I've got to get to my kids. So that's been a little revisit to Annadale. Not bad. Catch you on the next one.